Okay, so can we just have some of your uh, interpretation, please? It's because both those houses and their fear to east dying. That's right, very good. So one of the cool things about DB Todd is that no matter where I am in the school, I can access my projects from any computer, even the teacher's computer, even though I worked on it in the lab. Uh, as of last year, uh, roughly May, I put together uh, an iWeb website, which I uh, posted on the net through the school network here. Contained on the website uh, was specific for each of the grades podcasts. Those podcasts were audio files which I generated, which were downloadable audio files for the students. In many cases, the students would grab those and then download them and put them onto their MP3 players and then use them to study for the final exam. Uh, in the three days that I had my site up, I had 300 hits, 300 hits meaning um, 300 downloads of the different MP3 files. I only have in mind, keep, keep, keep this in mind, 60 students uh, for that first three days, meaning that uh, I know a lot of the other grade 10 classes uh, that I put the, put the first podcast out for, um, uh, we're using them as well. So some of the other teachers within the school, their students were using the podcast as well. I had incredibly uh, positive feedback from parents, uh, from the students as well. Uh, both in letter form and phone calls that I received from parents. And the final exam demonstrated uh, a certain level of success. We increased the grades between 6 and 10% on our final exam. Hi, I'm Steve and I'm a Film 12 student here at DB Todd. And, uh, you know, when I first started film about six months ago, I was PC, you know, and that's what I used to edit everything. I went through all the different programs, Adobe, Premiere, Vegas, you know, the basic Windows Movie Maker. And I moved into iMovie on the Mac and it was so incredibly easy and you had way more options. And the user interface on Macs are just really easy. So then I moved over to Final Cut Pro and that looks really hard up at first. When I started using it, it's really easy to use, there's great Mac support, and you just wouldn't be able to do that on a PC. <laughs> I have 30 grade 8s sometimes in my room and it's very hard to get all of them or able to get them all around a, um, a sewing machine to learn things and it's hard for them to see. So I thought of an idea that I could actually film myself uh, doing things like threading a machine. I also use it, I use that for grade 8s all classes. I also use um, the machines for the grade nines where they have to do samples of different things that I can show them and they can actually see it and I can project it from a computer onto a big screen. Now can you imagine this, I have, I have 30 people now sitting at the tables watching a big screen and the sewing machine is really close up. It just gives it, um, makes my life a lot easier because then the kids can actually see it and they're not clamoring over other people, etc. Watching the videos on the computer was more useful than watching her do it on one machine because watching it on one machine you couldn't really see. You'd have to be like standing up on your tiptoes. And the instructions on the video were more clear than the ones in the book. How easy is it to use iMovie? Very easy actually. I thought it was going to be really complicated, but it's not. Yeah, at the present time we're using Cajintosh for our grade eights. Uh, Cajintosh is fairly simple to use, easy to show to the kids, and was easy for myself to learn as well. Film production at DP Todd serves three purposes. One, it allows our students a way to demonstrate their knowledge and thought processes in a creative manner. Two, it teaches them how to analyze a film as an art form. And three, it allows students an opportunity to learn the, the intricate processes of making movies, right from the stages of brainstorming to the finished product. Using the technology of the camera, sound equipment, and computer software, our students are able to produce three-dimensional animation, PSAs, music videos, movie trailers, and short documentaries. They start off using iMovie, but they quickly progress to Final Cut Studio Pro, which is a professional level editing software. In Final Cut Studio, they can create um, projects which incorporate work from Creative Suite 2 and Flash Animation. So, uh, how does the computer um, help you to do your schoolwork? What do you think it would be like without the computer? Very hard to get through my day. <laughs>
<laughs> what we're using is a, a, an overhead projector, screen projector, and um, it's capable of, uh, of doing, is sending pictures in one of two different manners. It can do it directly from the computer so that uh, when I do a keynote presentation, uh, the, what appears on the screen of the computer will also appear on the screen at the front of the class. I find that the, the major advantage over, uh, for, over using an overhead is that I, I can attach a, a visual or a picture with, with every screen and uh, yeah, there's some sort of connection there and so we're, we're, a, we're a student, um, if I'm just writing notes and I am a terrible handwriter, uh, the, they struggle with just copying down the notes whereas this one they, they they're able to not only get the notes but 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 see see things that are there it's especially good for the social 11 because the the camera's been there for the entire time period that we're studying One of the fun things about um, teaching art in the computer classroom that is so different from teaching art in the regular classroom is that um, while it takes a long time initially for everybody to learn everything on the program, once they do, things can be changed so much more quickly than in the art classroom. Like we can go from uh, changing the composition just by cropping it real quick quick just like that where somebody in the art room wouldn't want to start over and get a new piece of paper and redo everything with a different composition because it already took them like three classes to get to that level whereas here it'll just take them like as long as it takes to click a, a mouse to change something so that's kind of one of a really fun thing about working in here GarageBand is a program that allows you to easily make music for whatever you might need. It's also easy to learn, it only takes a few minutes, and you can create great sounding music. And the software includes GarageBand for podcasts, iMovie for video editing, iPhoto for sorting out media and camera content, iTunes for audio presentation and podcast playback, uh, Keynote for presentations, VLC, Dreamweaver, Easy Grade, um, all kinds of things. I really think that the identity of the learner is the curriculum and that these are tools powerfully designed to connect content with the students. The student that edited this video used GarageBand, Soundtrack Pro and LiveType in conjunction with Final Cut Studio. What? I'm making it in the movie. It's the shadows. And that's the student right there. <laughs>